So, a leg bar is a transition from the gable position to the mount position. Um, things to notice about it. We call it a leg bar because it just stand, it's just short for leg bar arm. It's almost as if I'm doing a bar arm, but with my leg. I start by leaning back and pulling the wrist up on my hip. I'm leaning back, it's almost picking his body up. Now I'm gonna take the cross hand, reach up for the inside of the bicep, and continue leaning back further. I've created this window here. My next job is to just take this window and fill it with my leg. Boom. There we are, now we have our leg bar, just like a bar. He's gonna try, just try to stay flat as hard as he can right now, and all I have to do is kind of lean forward and make sure that this knee is high up. What I'm gonna do at this point is usually try to turn him all the way, by just kind of like using my forearm and pushing him here. And now what may happen is he may try to roll all the way through. Go ahead, roll all the way through. As long as I bring the other knee forward, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. We end up in the exact same position on the other side. Another leg bar. Boom. If he does that, boom, I can try to push him back. It's actually a pretty difficult position to find a pin from, but as long as I'm either on my forearms or my posts and I keep my knees high, I'm definitely gonna get back points. He'll probably escape the position after some discomfort and some energy spent, and I'll still be on top in a good position to score from. You may try to look for a pin, it's really up to you. I don't suggest looking for the pin, I just saw it suggest collecting your points and staying on top of the dominant position. One more time down, Wayne Carl, from the beginning. Let's do it from the two on one tilt. Come back up. Here, two on one, scored, combo out. Immediately looking for Gable. Fine, up to my hip, pull, get to my leg bar, boom. Get out, get out. Good, 